How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Well, we're sort of on it. We're going to have Forza Horizon 4 gameplay for a little bit of this because that's what my channel's all about. But mainly, this video is going to be about how I was on the BBC News. I'm a little bit late doing this video, it's probably not going to do very well. But I genuinely was featured on a BBC News. I had a little segment, um, a little interview sort of thing. And it was genuinely on BBC News. It was on the regional news, so it wasn't worldwide, but it was for a hell of a lot of people. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the segment I had. I'm going to react to it with the, I've already seen it several times, but it's still a bit cringeworthy. And then I'm going to explain to you how it all happened, how they contacted me, what happened when they came over. I've got a few pictures of the camera they bought. It's some pretty interesting stuff. It's pretty interesting to understand what goes into being on the BBC News. So uh, obviously, first of all, let me just get the clip up for myself. We're going to react to it. Now, I'm praying to God that I don't get copyrighted for this. I shouldn't do because I'm in it. But I need to try and find somewhere the uh, the clip. I believe it's here. Here we go. Now, before we get into it, I would like to say lots of people are going to be quite surprised in the interview when I say that YouTube is my full time job. I would like to clarify that I don't just make my money off YouTube. My channel isn't really big enough for it to be my full-time job. I do YouTube and I do all sorts of other online stuff and combining them that makes me enough to earn a living. But YouTube, being a YouTuber is kind of the main thing but that's not the sole way. So I'm gonna kick play just so I can sync it up properly in three, two, one. Have a nice <laughs> evening. <laughs> okay. Now it is a new industry that many of us know very little about. Videos and live streams online giving hints and tips about playing some of the most popular computer games. Gaming videos are incredibly popular and some stars can make millions of pounds from them. Now one teenager from Gainsborough is hoping to follow in their footsteps. Jake Hand has already turned his hobby into his full-time job with millions watching his videos which he films and edits it's all from his nan's spare bedroom. Natasha Turney went to meet him. Oh, God. I'm Jake, I'm 19, and this is what I do for a living. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Jake XVX here, back on Foot 2004. Uh, cringe. Once again. It was in October last year that I, I quit my full-time job because I was doing this alongside it and it was very stressful to manage them both. It, it all depends on the views. For me, I average maybe a million views a month and on average you get about a few pound per thousand views. So for a million hour, views, you could get anywhere time. from 500 pound to 3,000 pound. 230-ish, turn a bit there. I used to do this in my own bedroom at home, but now I've moved into my nan's spare bedroom because there's a lot more room, the better internet here, and it's just a better place to do all my setup and my editing. Hi, Jay. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. <laughs> he has had to explain a few bits and bobs to me, but uh, I enjoy watching watching him live on the uh, YouTube. So. Yep, a thousand horsepower. That'll do. I've got some friends that. They say it in a joking way, but they say, "Oh, all you do is sit and play games all day." But there's there's a lot more to it than that. There's the editing, the rendering, the ideas. You've got to be skillful at it. You've got to do it well, edit it well. This is where all the editing happens of the video. Um, so you can see all the audio, all the video tracks and all the text and everything. Why would someone watch me play the game? Well, it could be for several reasons. One, they could just like who I am, like my personality. They could just enjoy watching me because I'm funny. Or they could think I'm good at the game. Some of the videos I do could be revealing what the fastest car in the game is, for example, and some people may say that's cheating, telling them what car it is, but at the end of the day, they're watching the video because they want to find out that information. Some people think it's quite a strange thing to do and quite un unusual, but if it's what I enjoy, then, and if it pays off, then why not? I suspect he's going to have the last laugh. That's uh, Jake Hand. We wish him well. Look out for him. Uh, don't forget, of course, if you've got a story for us, uh, whether it's... So there we go. That was the segment I had on the BBC News, and it was quite a large segment, to be honest. That was about three minutes they gave me, which is not too bad, considering the whole thing's only like 20 minutes long or something. So let me just now talk about how it all came to happen, how they contacted me, what happened when they got here, and stuff like that. Well, the whole main point of this was for hitting 100,000 subscribers. And lots of you will say, well, loads of people hit 100,000 subscribers, and to be honest, you are right. 
I still to this day have no idea what made my situation so special. I think it's because in my area, it's kind of unheard of. It's quite a rare thing. There's not many YouTubers around here at all. So when it came out that someone local hit 100,000 subscribers, I think they kind of, they wanted to do something on it. But how it first started off, I think it was just a news article for something called the Games for a Standard. Obviously, when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I posted it onto my Facebook for all my friends to see and, you know, thanking them and stuff like that. And I think at some point, somebody local to do with a local newspaper, I think they saw that and decided to message me. And they just wanted me to email them back with a little bit of information so they could do an article. I'll have the article up on screen now so you can see it. It was just a little article about me hitting 100,000 subscribers, nothing too special. And I think because of that, Lincolnshire Live, which is a bigger newspaper, um, they saw I was in Gainsborough Standard. So Lincolnshire Live emailed me, asked me some information and asked if they could just do an article with, for me online. So then I was on Lincolnshire Live as well. And along with that, I was in the newspaper as well. As you can see, YouTuber Jake gets 100,000 subscribers, blah, 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 some of my videos at the bottom. But this is the Lincolnshire Live newspaper, as you can see in the top, uh, in the top left or whatever. So they contacted me to do an article because of Gainsborough Standard. And then, because I was in Lincolnshire Live, I got an email from the BBC. Someone from the BBC said, congratulations, blah, blah, blah. Can you ring me? I want to talk to you about this. Can we do an interview? Can we come over, do some cameras, put you on the radio? It all came out of nowhere, really. And then I rang them up, and I think it was basically the next day they came over, and there was this massive camera. I think three people came over. One of them was the kind of the interviewer who told me what to do and asked me the questions. Then there was the camera guy, and then there was the radio guy. So at first, I was, I was sat here, and then the radio guy was sat on that table, I think you should call it. And to be honest, to this day, I've still not heard the radio segment. I wasn't really interested in the radio, but he had this radio thing, and he just asked me a load of questions about my YouTube channel. You know, why did you start it? What do you do? Why is it good? Stuff like that. And then the big guns came out. It was the main BBC, BBC News segment. So I think I've got a few photos. Let me just check if I've still got them. If I've got them, I'll put them on screen. I managed to um, sneak a couple of photos of this massive camera that was in the room. Now, this isn't a very big room because it's my nan's spare bedroom. I don't work at home. But this camera was, it must have been, I don't know, that wide. It was massive. It, it was huge. Obviously, it was a, a TV camera, so it was massive. But they must have been here for, for a good two hours or something, just asking me questions you know, recording me picking my controller up, recording me moving my mic, doing my intro, and I cannot tell you how embarrassing it was to have to sit here, not even recording, with two guys just watching me, having to act out doing a video. It, oh god, it was so embarrassing. They told me to like, act out as if I was doing my intro and then doing a video. Of course, I didn't know what kind of video to do, so I just upgraded a GTR in game, which is why in the new segment you'll see there was a GTR in there. But they were here for a good two, three hours. I think it was 10 o'clock till 12 o'clock. And by one o'clock, so one hour after they left, they already edited part of it so they can have a little sneak peek preview because the main bit was on at six o'clock, which is what we watched earlier. So, so the same day that it was aired, it was actually all recorded that same day, just a few hours before. It's quite impressive that they managed to edit it that quickly. So, as you'd imagine, quite a lot goes into it. Now I'm going to talk about a bit of the aftermath, because obviously being on the news, it's quite a big thing. Obviously, I was watching it as it aired, and literally, I'm not joking here, obviously, in the news segment, they said my name, Jake Hand, and they also said my location, which I'm not going to repeat. You can probably find it out anyway. But literally, as it went live, as soon as he said my name, my phone next to me started lighting up. Facebook. Facebook notification, another Facebook notification. The amount of Facebook friend requests I got seconds after being on the news was unreal. I got, it filled up my whole thing. It filled up the whole thing. And that's because the amount of people that were watching it saw, oh, this guy's in my town. Let me look him up on Facebook. And they, I must have had mutual friends with most of them. And they just click add friend. And the amount of messages I got saying, I've just seen you on your news. Well done. I'm from Gainsborough too. And then I went to my emails as well. I don't know if you know, but as a YouTuber, you can choose to get an email every time you get a comment on a video. And my emails just went mental. I got loads of comments saying, Jake, I've just seen you on the news. 
I think even someone in my Discord noticed I was on the news and started freaking out. Jake, you were on the news. So obviously there's quite a lot of aftermath when it comes to being on it like that. You get quite a lot of attention, I'd say. Friend requests, messages, all sorts. I was actually in McDonald's a week or so after being on the news. And someone who I already knew was a friend. He came up to me and said, we saw you on the news yesterday. I saw you come up and I was like, I recognise him. Oh, it's Jake. So it was quite funny. But overall, it's been quite a good experience. I know lots of you are still going to be quite confused. Even I'm confused as to why, out of everyone that's hit 100,000 subscribers, why me? I actually saw the Racing Monkey make a pretty good point. Um, not that it matters to the news people anyway, but... 100,000 subscribers may not seem like a big thing to do on YouTube, technically is, but lots of people manage it. Racing Monkey mentioned that 100,000 subscribers from just doing Forza is quite rare. Thinking about it this way, the amount of people that have over 100,000 subscribers from doing Fortnite or Call of Duty, there'll be, there'll be tens of thousands of people. But the amount of people that have over 100,000 subscribers from Forza, I bet there's less than 30. I did actually receive my 100k plaque yesterday. You might have seen on my Instagram and my Twitter and everything. Don't have it here with me. or Otherwise, I'd show you. But I'm sure it's going to be in my next video. And from now on, I'm probably going to do a lot of face camming videos as well. So yeah, if you have any questions about being on the news or anything about this whole event, let me know. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content. And I'll see you all later.